Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Nisha for those who are new and for those who already been here, what it do baby poo. Today we are doing one of my little options I had you guys to vote for on the community tab here on YouTube. I asked if you guys would like for me to do a palette countdown with all of my palettes or would you guys like to do one week in one palette and you guys have voted for both <laughs> so I will be just pretty much mixing that throughout the year for this channel so in a sense it's still a palette countdown so I guess just whatever palette I get that will kind of like determine if I'm going to use this palette for a week or if it has less than 12 eyeshadows is what I put it as then I'm only going to be using a palette for or like maybe like two looks if it's a really good palette then maybe three i can squeeze out but mainly two looks and then i can't use that palette no more for the rest of the year so yes that's how i'm gonna try my best to get through majority of my palette now i'm not gonna get through all of them majority okay um if this goes good then if i still have like a lot of palettes left over which i'm pretty sure i am by the end of the year then i'm not gonna repeat any of these palettes that i use for this year for next year so let's see if i can hold that title so anywho i wanted to do a blue look to kind of like contribute to the color theme that I did last year. I have on blue nails. I was like, oh, this would be a perfect time because I wanted to do it again um, because I'm not pregnant. <laughs> and I was really, really pregnant in the face when I did blue theme. And I was like, okay, I want to do blue again, being that my face is back to normal. Okay, so I did pick out a couple of blue palettes that I actually haven't really used. So I have two ColourPop palettes that I've never used before. And and then I have the BH Cosmetic Palette. I used this once. And then I have the Crown Case Palette and I used this once. So I was really trying to figure out, I was like, okay, which palette, which palette should I use? And I was like, girl, put that in the drawing. So I put the names of the eyeshadows on these popsicle sticks. And I'm just gonna pick from here and go from there because I can't decide on what blue palette that I want to do to contribute to my color thing that I did last year. So. I like my little cup. This was a gift. Uh, I want to say, I don't know how many years ago, but this is freaking cute. This is my Instagram name, okay? Makeup by underscore Nisha. Make sure you guys are following me. And I have another cup with my actual name on it, too. It holds majority of my important brushes. And I like this one more because it's pink. But yes, look at this. It's so cute. Okay, a random show. Okay, anywho, let's go. What would I be doing? I am going to be doing two looks, whatever palette I do use, though. Okay, so I'm going to be using the ColourPop Blue Moon Palette. All right, let me see what she looked like. Okay, so this is ColourPop Blue Moon Palette. This is what she looks like, and then this is what she looks like in the inside. Okay, so let me uh, do my base, and while I'm doing my base, I'm going to be bo um, brainstorming and trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to be doing for this palette alrighty let's try her out this is blue moon all right I want to start with the deeper shade which is this one right here y'all I still got my shield on my mirror so I gotta show you I really have not used this palette. so this shade is called clued in This is a really pretty blue, oh my gosh. It looks very different than what it is in the pan. I like that, I really, really like this, okay. All right, so to blend this out, I have a good amount of different shades that I can go with to blend out this blue. Let's go with Starry Eye, which is this light blue right here. All right, so this blue is blending out very nice, but it's kind of like too light to blend out. So I definitely want to remix it just a little bit and add more of a warmer blue. And I'm gonna go for this blue right here. Just kind of, I'm just gonna use a shade to kind of like help blend out that lighter blue. Cause it's coming up a little harsh. Y'all knew I was gonna cut my crease. <laughs> Y'all already do that. Okay, so crease is cut. I am now gonna go back into the palette. I want 
to add a little bit of a lot of like shades like it's just like ooh, ooh. where do we go for this look um I'm trying to figure if i want to do all matte or do i want to do all metallics or a combo of both or my needs um I'm going to take a little bit of this metallic blue and then I'm going to go in with this one and if I have any blue left on the lid then I will figure out what blue to go after that but let's go for Billie Jean first which is that like grayish blue color. I want to try her first because I might this might be like the only color I put on my lid because it's just it doesn't really like behind me because it's a different shade of blue. Oh my gosh, this is freaking beautiful. Wow. So I put this on majority of lid because I do want to save a little bit more room for another blue, which is the other one that I said. So this one is called Mad About You. This is pretty, wow. And I'm gonna apply this one a little bit dry. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of that clued in, which is that first dark blue, and just put on the very outer part. All right, and then for my inner tear duct, I'm gonna take a little bit of my glue, and I am gonna pop that, I guess it's like a holographic white blue, because it looks silvery, it looks white, and it also looks like it has a little bit of like a hint of blue in it so it's like a little bit of everything in there so i did take some little oh i knew it was gonna be like a holographic one this is so cute that is so pretty wow All right, so I'm gonna do my face, give myself a nice little wing, and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna quickly uh, do a lip combo, and then I'll tell you guys what I did for the rest of the face. So I'm going in with my NYX pencil. And then for my lipstick, I'm gonna be going in with my Live Glam lipstick. And this is in the shade Bottle Service. All right, and then I'm gonna be going in with my Heat Gloss by Fenty. And I believe this is the Fenty Glow Heat. Yeah, so this is what she looks like. All right, so this completes the look. I hope you guys like it. So really quick, what I did for the face. As for primer foundation, pretty much the same thing that I've been using for the past like year now. But I have all that listed out at the bottom. But for like my blush and highlights, um, really quick for my blush, I did go in with my Hank and Henry blush palette. And I went in with this top one right here, that pink. Popped her on, real cute, real cute. And then for my highlighter, I have on the Kooky um, soft glow highlighter this is in the shade heavenly and it's a nice pretty gold for my bottom lash line i just went in with that dark blue popped it at the bottom and i brought that inner tear duct color more towards the lower part of my bottom lash line as well and then for my lashes my lashes is giving okay my lashes are giving me yes 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 vibes i have on the beauty creation lashes these are secret lover is the style i don't know why i'm showing you i'm like yeah i can really see it but this is the look for look number one. I am so here for it. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Well, y'all gonna see in the next clip, but I'm gonna come back tomorrow and show you guys the next look. Oh my God. All right, so this is the first look using blue. Moon blue is, I'm glad that I did this because I don't think I would have picked this palette out on my own. So I'm glad the stick gave me the force mints to do a look using this palette. So here is look number one. All right, now moving on to look number two. Well, thank you. Okay, so we are here with day two. All right, I was sitting here thinking, it's been a couple of days since the last time I filmed my look. Um, I wasn't really brainstorming. So I decided I'm gonna do a non-cut crease. I can't talk. I'm gonna do a non-cut crease look. So more like a just a very easy blue smoky eye. So a quicker look, you know? Because I felt like I did another cut crease. I felt like it was going to look similar. Although I would have used like different shade ranges, but yeah 
I got enough blue palettes. I'm pretty sure some of my blue looks are gonna start looking the same. <laughs> okay, so the color I am leaning towards, I kind of want to lean towards this. Let's try this blue. Let's see how this looks all over the eyelid. I'm gonna start off in the crease first. Wait, no, that's not gonna work for my complexion. I'm already seeing trouble, trouble, y'all. I don't know what color I want to do for all of my lid. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. So hard. All right, so we super zoomed in. <sighs> what do I want to do? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's go for it. I feel like this is like a different shade of blue, so I wanted to give it a go. And this is the shade that I am using. All right, so I'm gonna take this shade right here and put this all over the eyelid. I'm gonna go in with the shade and pop her on my crease. All right, so I'm gonna take more of, of that purpley blue. I'm just using a different form of a brush. I'm gonna buff this out. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Moonlight, which is that light matte blue. And I'm just gonna help bend out the edge part of it just a little bit. See, this look is gonna be pretty easy. I said I wanted to do a quick and easy look today, so that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply that lid color and just reapply more in the crease area. I feel like the separation of the two are showing very, <coughs> are showing. I wanted to kind of look more like a fadeaway instead of like a harsh crease. So I'm trying to put more of that eyeshadow in my crease. And yeah, I use a different base compared to my Juvia because I'm trying to try different things in my in my collection and she a no-go i think she's making my eyeshadow a little bit patchy but we're gonna make this work because she's already on and then i'm just taking a little bit of that same shade that's in the crease just popping it towards the outer oh that is so cute it's so cute so cute okay i'm gonna continue blending so it won't look so harsh and then i'm gonna pop on the rest of my face and i'll be right back all right, so we're gonna finish up the eyes. So I'm gonna go in with a black pencil liner. So for my bottom lash line, I don't think I wanna do the same blue that I have on the top part. And the only reason why I feel the way, I think it's gonna look too, too clownish, like too cheap looking. So I'm gonna go in with this blue right here. All right, so I did go in with a little bit of my glitter glue, put that right in the um, inner tear duct. And then I am going to go for, let's go for this blue right here. I want to give a really quick lip combo, going in with my NYX pencil. This ColourPop lipstick. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of some gloss. I'm going in with my heat. All right, so this is the final look. I'm gonna set my face really quick and pop on some lashes, and then I'm gonna zoom out and be right back. All right, so this is the complete and final look of look number two yeah i, I would have totally just overlooked this palette once again this has this palette has been in my collection for two years and i'm just not using her so you see why this whole <laughs> palette drawing is going to be very beneficial for you girl because there's a lot of palettes in my collection that have not yet been touched that i didn't have that i had in my collection for at least two years or more and it's uh, because it's like what are we doing sis <laughs> we're just buying just to be putting palettes on the shelf or are we buying to try these actual things and play with them so 
yes i am so happy for this look i hope you guys like this look as well definitely leave me a comment down at the bottom let me know what look was your favorite is it look number one or is it look number two and really quick for my face uh, as for foundation all that that would be listed down at the bottom i'm actually trying out a new foundation so y'all be on the lookout because i'm doing a weird test for it so we're gonna see how it goes so y'all let me know how it looks do it look good color good <laughs> okay but as for like my cheeks and everything i went in with this beautiful blush okay by it's called freshly squeezed for my highlighter i went in with my elf duo highlighter light side light side right here and then you guys have seen the lip combo and like i said the rest of the information about my face will be listed down in the description box okay so hopefully you guys like this video i hope you guys like this video okay so excited for this year i'm excited for tutorials i'm excited okay if you guys got this palette hopefully it'll give you guys some more inspiration to go get her and wear some blues on them eyelids okay boo but anywho you guys have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.